In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. And you know why? You should know by now. Stay with me now because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. I think we left off with the mom trying to literally go crazy on Rentaro. And do what? What are we doing, mom? I'm not gonna get banned. No, I can't get banned. It's anime. Surely I'm not gonna get banned. Let's let, 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 let's re let's replay those insane the sounds that's been playing right now. Hold up. A bit louder. Oh, oh. 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 Oh my god, what? What are you doing? What is sure it's a massage? It's gotta be a massage, right? It's gotta be a massage. Oh, so close! No shot, Rentaro is blasting the cheeks of his fucking girlfriend's mom while she's also home. No shot. This is a massage. We're massaging her back. No shot. <laughs> this, this head height. Why? How can a massage be like this? She's at his cock level. No kind of massage can do this. Wait. Wait. <laughs> what just happened there? No, no. What? How was she at her head, his clock level? His head? <sighs> That's not... Trust me, your mom is drawing something else out of Rentaro right now. Yes. Yes. I mean, seemingly that's what's happening. The moans can be heard throughout the house. This is a mansion, by the way. What the fuck did you just say? What are you doing? Why do you have a wig on? What are you, why is he cross-dressing? <laughs> because the mom loves dressing up, right? Because the mom loves dressing up. She's a cool kusuri. Everybody here in cute dresses. So right now, it's 1v1 session. Mom is cross-dressing Rentaro. She kind of looks like, um... She, she, she kind of looks like Karane right now. Oh, they love it! They love this shit! Men, careful. Guys, what did they just say? What? Cross? Cross dressing best boyfriend. And I'm telling you, friend A, episode one, childhood friend, femboy, cross dressing boy. I don't know. He's going to come back with a different name. And he's going to be a girlfriend, dude. Oh, they all love this shit. Everybody pledged, even Nano. Girls do like this when guys wear made outfits. CPR. CPR, mouth to mouth. He's not actually dying right now. Nano, do something. Uh, Cause she is cunning. Is it mouth to mouth time? What's happening? Oh, 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 wait, hold on! Cross-dressing Nano? Now the prince will kiss the princess? Uh, the Nano looks way too good like that, bro. Oh my goodness. I think the last time a girl cross-dresses a guy and looked this good was Tomo-chan as a girl, right? Tomo's a perfect for, uh, candidate for that. Na- Cross-dressing on both sides and a kiss. Damn, Nano is winning. And, and mom is still caught up in the delusional fan service, right? Both of you, all three of you are drooling, all four of you are drooling, all five of you are drooling. Why, why don't we join together in the public bath? Hmm? What's going on? They're, they're in the same... A rope for what? Hakari and Hahari are on the same page right now, like mother and daughter. What are they doing? Video capture? <laughs> oh, the girls are peeping on the guys. Usually it's the guys peeping on the girls, but this show's different. Who wants to do it too? Play that again. She straight up said Ochin Chin. She straight up said Ochin Chin. Yes. <laughs> I want to see Rentaro's dong! What's to come? What's coming? Huh? How is that tail moving? 
Lies. Lies. Suzuki, come on. You want to get in on it too? Suzuka, come on. Come with us. That's kind of scary. What are we doing with Shizuka? Okay, we wrap her up and she is now jailed. Bye bye, Shizuka. Very cute. We just imprisoned her. Maybe we'll get some balls for Shizuka. Okay. Say no to degeneracy, says the main character of this show. Got some Mission Impossible going on? I think this is the same thing that played when Karane and Rantaro, you know, were climbing the wall together. Hello. That looks creepy. <laughs> Who is that? Is that Hakari, I think? Shizuka is still imprisoned. This is a seal stronger than Gojo Satoru seal in Jujutsu Kaisen right now. How could I expose myself to my girlfriends? I'm such a degenerate. Bro, what are you talking about? Come on, they want you to expose yourself. <laughs> what the fuck is going on right now? Alright, everybody's dead. Shizuka will probably just make it in time for the degeneracy to start. How's she gonna get out of this? Uh oh? Oh, yeah, we can just roll out of it. Okay, that works too. Yo, we need to get more of the maid. I like this maid. It's so optimal. Karane is going on with it. I like this maid. We need to get the maid involved too. Come on. Oh? The fuck? Oh, someone poked. No, 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 no. It's just the hairs poking each other. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's a cat. No, that's the cat. Yay, that's the cat. And this is Nana's happy space. This is some ridiculous level of chaos right now. Rental is just trying to fucking wash himself. And all the fucking girls are just going crazy in the fucking rooftop over a fucking imaginary rat, which is a cat, but still. What are we doing? Oh no, you can't do this. No, don't do this. No, don't. <laughs> don't. Oh no. Don't do this. I mean, she has the padding. It shouldn't hurt, but... Someone should just push. Is it the dog? Just push. Just fucking push. That was a perfect fucking 90 angle turn. Oh, and she's freed. What was that invisible? Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that invisible thing there? There was an actual ghost that opened the door there. And Chizuka has made it into the bath first of all the girls. And she just looks like that girl from The Ring now. The horror movie that comes out of the TV. Look at this shit. Oh my god. There's the dong. Is he a grower or is he a shower? That's an elephant dong right there. Chizuka, don't see this. Don't close your eyes. Close your eyes. Chizuka. Oh, reverse nosebleed. I love how the cat's name is just rich person's cat. <laughs> to see your dong. <laughs> the tsundere lies are always the truth. You give yourself away too easy. Well, uh, no one's got to see his dong other than Shizuka. Damn. Dude, Shizuka's the winner of this episode. Nobody got to see his dong except Shizuka. This is kind of crazy. I like giraffes, but we saw an elephant. The elephant knows it's synonymous with the dong, but the giraffe could also be. I don't really know what they're trying to say here. Trying to be co probably comparing a giraffe to an elephant as the dong thing, but hmm. Does that mean he's a grower or a shower? Okay, she likes the dong. She likes the dong. Wait, she gotta take a fat shit? What, 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 what's she gonna do? She, she gotta take a dookie? Let, let me be your toilet paper. Come on, okay, bye mom. She looked kind of sad there at the end. I was gonna say, is she taking a shit? What's going on? Oh. Is she straight up praying to her husband that died? While at the same time, the entire night was focused on raising up this 15 or 16 year old boy. So she's like feeling guilty now? No, I don't know about- I don't know, man. <laughs> like... 
Oh, that's the guy? He's like white haired. She felt guilty all of a sudden. <laughs> Shit. Because he was meant so much to him, right? The, the husband that died meant so much to her. This is pretty intimate. This is pretty private. <laughs> I may be just a teenager, but I'm also your boyfriend right now. Mother, girlfriend of 29 years of age. Please tell me what happened to your dead husband at the age of... It's probably like she cared about him so much that it felt weird that she would try to go with other men after he's passed by. So she probably closed that chapter in the book and she said, that was the love of my life and that's it. No more, right? Damn, let me share your burden. Take a note, guys. Those, that's like, these are some godlike lines. <laughs> okay, actual serious sad scene. <laughs> Bitch, you folded so fucking easy last episode after saying, Rentaro, I can get rid of your body like the fucking cartel into. Please go out with me. But again, that's part of the mechanic of the first love thing, right? With the god. <laughs> True. <laughs> you can remember him still. Let me be Hakari's dad. Let me be Hakari's dad now. Giga Chad. His way with words, man. Always validating people. This dude is so good at convincing girls to just be with him in a really positive and wholesome way. Yeah, I know, but like, if you think of what just happened, he was able to convince her. Forget about your dead husband. That's all me now, baby. This is still ridiculous, though. Like, this age gap, what the fuck? Oh. Okay, in, fr in front of the dead husband? So not only is she a virgin, which is pretty much confirmed, because artificial insemination, she's also a kiss virgin. She's never kissed anyone throughout her 20. I mean, it makes sense, right? If you pretty much swore a vow at this age, which is like, I don't know, 13 or some shit, it makes sense that she would just keep that forever. So no other guys has ever been allowed to be with her. Kiss incoming. <laughs> oh, here comes a kiss. Damn, bro. I hope Hakari's not watching this. This is so weird, but at the same time so wholesome. I don't know anymore. It's just like the things that's happening in this show are so ridiculous, but at the same time still it's kind of wholesome, right? So it's like, fuck. I'm like, I don't even know. Oh. I like to think this is her doing it, you know, unconsciously. <laughs> Karane was ready for the entire thing, though. Hmm? Not because he's dating her mom right now, but because, you know, she was going to be, like, sent away, right? No, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh. Karane, you just got to kill kiss Dolan. Karane, get in there. Is Hakari really the main girl of this show? I don't know. I feel like because she's introduced first and there's so much focus on her, she might be just a main girl. I know the whole point of the show is to have a hundred girlfriends, but... Is there a main girl? Is it Hakari? Oh, what the fuck is the sound? What are you... Karane and Hakari are kissing right now, right? Karane and... <laughs> oh my god, these two. Again, best friends. Best friends. What are we going to encounter four in the morning? The ghost. That's who opened the bath door for, you know, fucking uh, Shizuka. What? The ghost of Hakari's dad still lives on? What? Yep. <laughs> Both of them. Wait, bro, you're supposed to be dead. Give us your blessings. Don't tell me he's gonna riz up the dad too. Oh my god, it's happening. Okay. We're getting the blessings from the ghost dad. 
Can he now fucking live in peace now? Are we about to like exercise him? This is so ridiculous. The dad is fucking giving us his blessings as a ghost. I thought you pass on now because of Rentaro. Yeah, bro, rest in peace. He's too good. He is just too fucking wholesome. He is just perfect. Bro, we are rising up the fucking dad. What's happening to him? What is going on? Is he passing? Is Rentaro such a fucking giga chat with those lines? Is he about to pass in peace and go to the afterlife? Don't fucking tell me. Bro. All right. Bye. Bro, if you didn't watch this anime and you show somebody this fucking clip right now of Rentaro telling like, this, this fucking like 13 year old kid father, what would you fucking even think? This show is fucking ridiculous. I'm sure we're gonna visit her again, but like... What, what reason does the mom have to show up again? You know, because we're like in school. What do you mean? What, 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 what? Is she the fucking teacher here? Hold up! The new chairperson? <laughs> she bought the school! So she is like principal! I don't know, but she is so rich that she fucking bought the school to be closer with Renta. <laughs> Let's, let's, let's play that again. Let's play that again. Hello, Hari. How much money does she have? What the fuck? Hello. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, you didn't even know. Bro, is she some fucking principal or something here? The chairwoman. Oh, here's the opening. They're waiting for you. That's right, the maid always closes her eyes. Maybe it's like professional, I don't know. New girlfriend? Wait, wait! New girlfriend, hold up, I see you, I see you! We got a baseball girl too, you should probably the captain of the fucking baseball girl too! Oh my god! <laughs> That's not childhood friend A, right? No, I don't think so. I don't think childhood- doesn't the, Didn't the childhood friend A have like that kind of similar hairstyle though? I can't really remember. Oh, who is the Foreign exchange student probably, right? No, that's a guy. Get the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the vice principal finds a way to figure it out. The vice principal. Yeah, that's a tomboy girlfriend. But oh my god, dude. This is the perfect fucking frame pause. You know why? Because her titties right now are fucking sh It's making the, the, the symbol of a heart right now, bro. <laughs> Show me other girlfriends. Come on. Oh, 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 another one has appeared. Who is she? Hmm, we don't get much of her, but she's probably like the quiet, another kudere type, maybe a little bit more darker brooding type. To the rooftop. Rooftop scene? <laughs> With the fucking chairwoman, bro. Bro, and if you think about it, because she's the chairwoman of this board, like, if word got out, if people knew that the fucking grown-ass woman, the chairwoman of this school was dating a school student, there's a scandal, the drop. She'll be fired immediately, bro. But this is anime, so it's fine. Five reallys, guys. Now, I think there is a season two announcement that we will also check out in the future. But goddamn, that's season one. Of all the rom coms I've seen, and of all, like, the type of rom coms that I enjoy the most are shows like this. This is like, th this, this is like the, the Kaguya sama, the Tomo chan as a girlfriend. You know, other really upbeat, very fast paced rom com that kind of focuses more on the com side than the rom. Right, These are but this formula has never done before because usually there's a winner and a loser. But this show, every girl is a winner. And, I, and again, I've talked about this in the Giguk video as if like, does a girl need to lose for someone else to win? That's a deep philosophical question that we don't really need to ask. All I know is that we have some more girlfriends coming. There's some more designs. I don't know who this girl is, but we got a fucking kombini like uh, like uh, I don't know. We're probably gonna cook for her because she probably only eats like these bad you know convenience store food. And then we got another girl who seems to be like a tom a tomboy girl, right? Like she's like fucking swinging the baseball bat here, right? And then we got another one who's like the dark. No, this is like the probably the foreign exchange student girl, right? Because she's blonde, and even though other girls. 
in this show have different hair colors. Baba, get the fuck out of my face! And then we have the dark brooding girl, right? The the, the, the other Kudre type, maybe, right? And I think that's it. So I think those girls are going to be the focus for season two. And whenever that shows up, we will, we will be there to watch it. And again, thanks guys to everyone that made it up to season one, especially in Twitch. I know you guys are all there watching it with me. And remember, if y'all want to watch this shit live, first things first, show up on Twitch and watch it together. And until next time, take care.